Okay, so I'm gonna do a quick video on packing and I'm gonna show you what it looks like on underwear. The goal is to get different ones because, I'm not saying I don't like it, but before I had top surgery, I had like five or six different brands of um, binders and it's because I wanted to find the right one. And so I wanna find the right packer for me. And eventually I wanna get an STP. I like it, I do like it. Um, I feel like it's a little big. I had to consult with um, some of my guy, guy friends that are like my brothers, um, showed them a bulge, asked them if I positioned it right because I just felt like it was too big, but I've been looking at guys at the gym because I do pack at the gym. Um, I've been looking at guys just walking around and I just want to know. And there are so many different variations. Like, it's like, sounds corny but everyone is different everyone's unique but it's true so I just put it in a place and where I feel comfortable wearing it and it after I got it in my head everybody's different and every penis sits different I tend to worry about what ifs too much and I tend to getting freak my own self out and cause my own self to get anxiety. So once I just stopped and put it where I feel comfortable and just saw it as my my bulge. This is what it looks like. As long as I put it in the same place every day, it's my bulge. Um, so I go pros. It looks realistic. Um, especially with the underwear, like you can definitely see the shape. And sometimes uh, I do wear sweats at the gym and shorts. So like when I do that, you can definitely see it more than jeans, but like it looks realistic. So I do like that. Um, I do like that the company tries to match with your skin tone. I messed up because I'm apparently I apparently don't know what color I am because I it doesn't look anything like me but I'm not I'm not mad about it. I have two products by them. I have a hard six inch with adhesive sheet, um, and then I have the soft four inch and they're both different colors. Why? I don't know, I suck I guess. Um, but they different shades and I just I don't know I didn't know how to mix them and stuff but this is my first try my first go and even though it did take me a long time to save because it is it is it is expensive um I knew it was my first one and I wasn't really tripping about it anyway uh, cons so the first time I was wearing the first time I wore it to the gym I was wearing uh, these underwear regular and I'm not I'm, I'm not wearing it right now but um, these regular underwear they're loose and it fell it didn't fall off completely but it definitely fell and I had to put it in my gym bag because uh, that was me I wasn't prepared and I bought a jock strap from trans guy supplies and definitely um, they're $16 cheaper than rodeos jog strap and it, to be honest I don't know how to wear a jog strap I, uh, I probably get I'm probably gonna get corrected here in this video but my purpose of wearing a jog strap is so that it can go under my underwear kind of like a harness I don't know if that's the thing if that's how you're supposed to use them or stuff because I've seen guys just wear the jog strap under their clothes and um I just don't want my butt to be bare in my pants, but that's my personal opinion. Um, so I'm gonna put these type of underwear over my jock strap. Um, so I went and I bought different underwear, which I will put it on when I show you what it looks with that underwear. And it definitely stays. It helped. I feel like I, briefs bought regular briefs so instead of being boxer briefs I bought regular briefs and instead of it hanging the briefs help it obviously stay in place all right so here's what I, what I look like with regular boxer briefs um, 
like an animal tripod or anything, but look, it's my kitty, frankly. Alright, so this is what it looks like. I, you can definitely, you will see on the next one, definitely see the hanging of it. Now, four inches to some may be big, but if I can pick my size, I'm gonna have a big schlong. Anyway, and I'm still a grower, not a shower. Ha! Ah, but here's what it looks like. I do feel a little bit naked just because briefs are much higher, but I'm a hairy person, so don't mind the hairs. Okay, so here's what it looks like with the briefs, with the underwear of my choice. So. When it's time to buy new underwear, I'm gonna keep buying this underwear. But anyway, so here's what it looks like with briefs. Briefs. Can't pronounce it. All right. So here it is. Definitely can definitely tell. Can definitely see it more. I think. I like the same placement. Did not change placement of the prosthetic. I just changed the underwear. And this is what it looks like. Blue is not my favorite color. I just have a lot of blue stuff. Green is my favorite color. But anyway, um, so that's what it looks like. But I really, really like the way they look uh, with the briefs. So, Personal, prefer personal preference again um so that's it for my review and just that's just my experience on the prosthetic and what it looks like on underwear um any other question message me on my Insta instagram account well made 2.0 all right mm -hmm.